It was the DPP's explosive accusation that triggered the inquiry. I've had a year and a half of police passionately telling me that this matter shouldn't proceed. But over the last fortnight, Drumgold himself has come under scrutiny. Bruce Lerriman's lawyer making this counterclaim. My impression was that it was Mr Drumgold who was hostile towards the police. I was concerned that he had aligned himself with Miss Higgins. Wybrow did confirm that a senior police officer threatened to resign if Lerriman was found guilty. Several police will front the inquiry over the coming weeks. But Drumgold's allegations of a wider conspiracy melted away under questioning. You withdraw any suggestion that there was a possible conspiracy involving a minister, the commissioner and ACT policing, is that correct? I do. Also in question, the claim that former host of the project, Lisa Wilkinson, was warned against making a Logie's acceptance speech, a speech Wilkinson had tried to clear with Drumgold. Do you remember her reading that no, part of the I speech? I don't remember hearing that, that much of the speech. Again, I, I'm not saying that she didn't say it, but I, I had switched off by this, I think. Do you accept that in exercise of your functions of justice, that you ought to have advised Ms Wilkinson not to give that uh, speech. In hindsight, probably. Drumgold also acknowledged that as the ensuing media storm broke around Wilkinson, causing the trial to be delayed, he failed to correct the record. This was the opportunity, wasn't it, in court to correct what was being said about my client, which was something you knew to not be true. I now accept that. Drumgold faced further questions after notes submitted during the Lerriman trial relating to a pre-Logies meeting with Wilkinson were revealed to have been added the day after the awards, accepting that this misled the court. So that note was made on the preceding day? Yes, correct. Well, yes. Yes, I accept that. And therefore, the answer you gave to Her Honour was false? Oh, no, I don't accept that. So, with police and prosecutors trading accusations and recriminations deepening around the DPP's handling of the case, maybe only one thing is clear. This is no one's idea of justice. The agent SMH journalist Angus Thompson has been following the inquiry. He joins us now. It seems like the DPP and the police are at war here, Angus. Is this normal or does it just show how unusual the Lerriman trial was? Look, I think there's no question this is an incredibly unique set of circumstances here. What we've got currently going on is this public dissection of this incredibly high-profile case. And you've got, uh, in this uh, inquiry, you've got the, the Director of Public Prosecution, Shane Drumgold, first of all, uh, raising suspicions there might have been political interference uh, in this case, uh, which has now been abandoned, but then walking it back and basically putting it down to uh, the incompetence, how he perceives it, of the police uh, and the investigations that went on. So you've clearly got a, a bit of a dichotomy of views there. And on the other hand, he's been accused of uh, being hostile uh, towards police and um, basically uh, labelling them as buff heads, uh, really. So they couldn't be at further ends of uh, at the spectrum, I think. Shane Drumgold has been temporarily replaced as DPP director. So what, if anything, should we read into that? Look, the ACT government uh, has put out a statement basically saying that uh, Shane Drumgold is taking leave at his own request and he's due back on June 13. But it's, I think it's pretty reasonable to suggest that uh, there are a lot of questions over Shane Drumgold's future. There's been a lot of scrutiny over his conduct uh, in, in, the, in handling the case. So I think, uh, you know, undoubtedly uh, he'll probably be using a bit of this time himself to ponder his future. The public inquiry will continue on Monday. What more can we expect? Well, we've actually got a few of the police investigators up giving evidence uh, or from Monday onwards. Uh, there have been a lot of criticisms coming from Shane Drumgold about how, you know, they approach the case, their attitudes and more broadly the attitudes of ACT police towards uh, charging people uh, with sexual uh, offences as well. There'll be some very interesting responses, I'm sure. Angus, thanks for your time tonight. Thanks very much.